The Arizona Cardinals are at home this week trying to snap a four-game losing streak against a Baltimore Ravens team that rolls in at 5-2 after dismantling the NFL's 2023 darling. A fake. Jackson, room, first down, touchdown! This game has a little bit of a USA flag football versus anybody in the world in 20 any year you want to pick vibe to it. But Arizona has been here before, facing an opponent who looked so good the week before. They take on Lamar Jackson in this case, who comes in off a 350-plus yard, three-touchdown, 155-plus rating game. Bounces away, still surveying, still alive, throwing it. Jackson was almost perfect last week, so good with his legs he couldn't be sacked. All that against a Detroit defense that had looked pretty good prior. Hutchinson coming with pressure. Throw to Flowers. Perfect. In time, inbounds, first down. Arizona faces a rush offense that piled up over 140 yards on a nice 5.4 a carry. Here is Edwards, and that'll get the first down and then some. Big still going is Edwards. My goodness. Arizona faces a defense that shut down one of the top offenses in the NFL. Six points allowed to the Lions last week, held Jared Goff to a sub-70 rate, no TDs allowed, picked him off. Just going to go deep, and there's nobody home. It's going to be intercepted in the end zone by Geno Stone. Arizona faces a pass rush that gobbled Goff up five times, Detroit's line one of the better ones in the game, the Ravens with the most sacks in the NFL. Goff pressured and he's dropped. Another sack by these Ravens who lead the league in that department. Yep, Arizona has faced this before four coming into a game with an offense only a mother could love facing a defense number one in points per game allowed number two in QB rating allowed from the pocket downfield is intercepted intercepted by Geno Stone and now that secondary takes on Joshua Dobbs only 146 yards passing last week just 4.4 yards per attempt a rating under 70. Third down and 14 Dobbs five straight incompletions Make it six. The number one sack team going after a dude who took four sacks got hit eight times. Fourth and 11. Dobbs under pressure. Sacked again. Nothing anyone saw last week from these teams or have seen from them this season overall would lead you to believe Arizona has a chance, except for Womp Rats and Week 3. Dobbs going to hand it off to more Big hole up the middle. 40, 35, 30, 20, far side 10, more to the house, 45-yard run. No one in any galaxy, not even the far, far and away ones, picked Arizona to beat Dallas. There was no logical reason for it to happen. Darth Stewie would tell you there's no logical reason to leave an opening to the reactor core. Can't you just throw some plywood over it or something? But Baltimore does have a hole in its defense, stopping the run game. Ravens gave up six a carry to Detroit's runners, have allowed 4.2 to ball carriers this season. Second and one, Gibbs on the pitch, has some room. Jameer Gibbs, no one touches him, he's in for six. What was a huge key to Arizona's upset over Dallas? Their run game, and it's the one thing they did well last week versus the Seahawks. 5.1 a carry, 25 attempts. Here's Dobbs after the fake to DiMercato. Dobbs oh. still going on first and goal from the 25. Takes it in for an Arizona touchdown. If they can keep things tight with long drives, the pass game gives them just enough, maybe. And they're better than Lloyd Christmas Mary Swanson odds, too. What a great start for the Cardinals. So it's possible. Arizona just has to put in a lot of work in their T-16s this week. Anybody biting? I'll be checking the comments section as usual to see what you all think. We can check the final screen to see what our panel thinks. Okay, but wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask. What's the .01?